All right, Jason from JW Classic VW. Let's take a look at the board for today. Do, 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 do. Saturday, the 5th of 2019. Welcome to a new year, guys. Today's projects finish up on one and two. Complete valve lapping three and four. And put together that short block. And if you haven't seen it already, coming up projects, setting the deck height once we get that short block back together. Engine reassembly, got some lighting issues, some soundproofing we're going to be working on. And then I'm going to start talking to you guys about the, the big engine build because I just uh, got a block that I found used that's already uh, opened up for 94s. And uh, we're going to take a look at that and see what kind of condition it is once it gets here. Like, share, subscribe, guys. JW, classic VW. Stay tuned. So I want to take a second to give you guys a, a really good look at how the valve lapping worked and it worked out really good. These valves right here, the seats, the pitting is almost completely gone if there was any on there. Completely gone on the intake and the exhaust is just cleaned up looking great. I'll show you the valves. Here is one of the valves. Cleaned up really well. So the the best method I found to do this is you actually have your drill on it and you just kind of go about half speed and you're doing a little bit of a plunger motion when you're seating and unseating the valve. It really allows that uh, grinding compound to work. And then I'll reverse it. It does a great job of uh, getting that valve seat reconditioned. Okay, so the uh, <clears throat> valve lapping has been done. We are finished with it. And now we got to go ahead and uh, rebuild the head. Yeah, um, let's see if we can get you guys to take a, take a look at these surfaces. See how everything turned out. Now, as you can see, this is the valve that was really bad. And there is still a little bit of pitting on it, but not nearly as bad as it was. The other side looks really good. Cylinders have been marked. And we're going to go ahead and start reassembly.
take a look at the uh, CB44 head just so you guys can get a reference. Kind of see the difference between the two. You can see the intake valve is huge compared to the, uh, the stock. Double springs, chromial uh, retainers, and cap. These are all high powered stiff for that big engine. Take out a valve, so it's like. Ooh, they're, they're not metal. <laughs> I mean, they're not steel. See some carbon buildup from the last guy that ran it? Not very much, though. Definitely gonna wanna come through and clean all this up beforehand. Soak these valves to get this carbon buildup off here. Exhaust valve is super clean. It's great, actually. These are noticeably lighter, too. Lighter valves than the ones that were in the stock. Pretty cool. be good. That's the rock. You can either do TDC or BDC. But you want to kind of see where the tipping point is right there. And that is pretty much it right there. That's it. That is the top of my dick. It's not gonna be very much. That's right there. So you turn it down to get it to where it's touching the top. Tighten down your other one, your lock nut. That is a 13 mil. And we should be good. So, all we have to do to check this deck height is we go ahead and right now it's set to millimeters because I was measuring the studs. Set it back to inch. And at the end down here, you'll have a little, a little, a little pin that'll stick out on your caliber. And you'll take this right here, just like that. You see how it's uh, on there? Forty-two thousandths. So four two five. I get that. 
All right, so this is what I got for the deck height for number one. Let's see what we get for uh, number two. There. So there's a difference, but it's not very much. Hey guys, it's uh, Jason with uh, JW Classic VW, and I'm back at it. Today I'm going to be going ahead and taking care of the the rest of the deck height, finishing that up. I got some torques up here for what I have to do for mine. Torque patterns. This is your torque pattern for the initial torquing. One, two, let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then your final torque. You can actually read those numbers pretty good. All right, good stuff. We're gonna go get to it. See you in a second. What's that up there? Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe.
tool to help me align my push rod tubes as I'm tightening up everything. You also want to watch the, the bottom part of the push rod tubes as you're tightening. You want to make sure that you keep all of this nice and centered. underneath there you can get a lot of leaks if you don't keep your uh, flush rod tube centered so but I'm gonna start off at 7 pounds then 15 pounds 20 pounds then 23 pounds and then after I finish the final torque of 23 pounds I'll come back about 15 minutes later retorque the heads again wait another 15 minutes go back and torque the heads down again you just want to give the, the heads time to settle in all right guys I'm gonna I finished up uh, most of the uh, long block. I gotta go back here and retorque the heads and I thought I'd let you guys watch what I do when I do that. It's probably been about 30 minutes or so on the other side so uh, here we go. Alright, like I said it's been about 30 minutes or so since I've torqued the other side. I'm kind of curious to see if it does torque down even more on this side. So go ahead and take a look. Let's see what we got. Alright, the torque pattern is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, set to 23 foot pounds and 1. Two, Kind of shape it's in.